In the Lafouche Parish system, scholarly based thinking is considered especially academic. In Thibodeau, the dedicated students who investigate court cases are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victors Unit. These are their stories. Dun dun. <clears throat> Miss Tegel, where were you the night of April 12th, 2018? I was in my room in the lane. Mm, likely story. Did you have any company that night? No, I was alone, like always. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I see. What were you doing that night? Um, procrastinating my homework. Duh, that's what all college students do. Likely. <laughs> when analyzing court cases, one must know the legal terminology. Otherwise, you're just going to feel like a losing contestant in a spelling bee. Um, your word is exonerated. Um, can you use that in a sentence, please? <laughs> Some of the words that you come across while analyzing court cases are words like conviction, recognizance, depraved, presided, prosecutor, testimony, and of course, exonerated. Next, you're going to identify the opening argument. What is the plaintiff saying? What is the defendant saying? Identify the testimony and then evaluate it. Is the defendant guilty or not of the charges brought against them based off of the evidence? Evidence? Evidence is the available body of information used to determine whether a statement is true or not. <coughs> okay, DNA is very important in court cases. Some examples of DNA are saliva, hair follicles, fingerprints, shoe prints, and um, you know, that stuff you do in the bathroom. Yeah, we saw you. But. You know, we can also take these pieces of evidence and put them in a crime database. That way, if somebody commits a crime and they do their time, but they want to do it again, huh? We got you, boo! We already got you put in our system. And guess what? If you try to do it again, we already know it's you. Because we got your DNA everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're going to relate the court case to the scientific method that we learned last week in class and anyways so the first thing you have to do is ask a question so in this case we're gonna say who done it why did they do it all that good stuff like that and then background research yeah next we're gonna do background research we're gonna look at the crime scene dig on in there you know and just find all the evidence that we can Say, you might find some DNA. You might find some fingerprints. You might find a sandwich on the ground. You never know what you're gonna find. So, then the next thing you have to do is construct a hypothesis. Who did it? Who do you think did it? Why do you think they did it? Okay, so you gotta get there. Then, you're gonna test your hypothesis. You're going to interview this person. You're going to figure out where they were that supposedly that night when they were at last call. <laughs> Should have been doing homework, <laughs> you know. But anyways, then you're going to want to take all that evidence that you gathered from their interviews and their interrogations and their evidence and the spit that they gave you in the cup. <laughs> That's the one. Anyways, so you're going to say, was my hypothesis right? If not, it's time to go back all the way to the front, do some more research, figure out what went wrong, and start all over again till you got them. And then you want to, once you get the right results, find out who it is, prove that they're guilty, because America. And then you're going to want to communicate the results. Like, <laughs> when I'm on my Facebook all the time, it says, who done it, he done it. Keep peeing in the pool again. That's nasty. <laughs> We're gonna look at the crime scene. Dig on in there, you know, and just find all the evidence. <laughs> Will you help me hide a body?
Oh, that's cute. Will you help me hide a body? <laughs> the scientific method that we learned last week in class. Don't forget it, Tommy! <laughs> okay. These are their stories. Dun dun. <laughs> Do you see the pain in my eyes? <laughs> okay. Testimony and of course exonerated. No, actually it was Professor Plum in the library with the, ro no, the candlestick. The candlestick. The candlestick. People are so feisty when it comes to candlesticks. <laughs> who, who would? <laughs> yeah, you better not get no blood on that candlestick because we got you done up. What would that be? That would be like, see if their alibis check out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't test me. I'm invited. I'm invited to Star Wars Day, Lexi. What is Star Wars Day? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Your regularly scheduled programs. Regularly? <laughs> Is that a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs>